Hey class two, this is Christy the Rain Class Stitcher. Welcome back to my channel. If you are one of my subscribers, if you're brand new, hi, hello, welcome. I am Christy, I'm a cross stitcher. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. This is my channel where I mostly talk about cross stitch. Today is Wednesday, April 24th, right? <laughs> I always have to check the date. Yes, it is. Um, okay, so what's going on? Um, for you, those of you who are brand new, um, I think I've had like 60 new subscribers since my last Flossa video. So hi, welcome everyone. I am a stay-at-home mom. I'm 39 years old. Um, I am a, a housewife, a military spouse. My husband's active in military. We are living in Okinawa, Japan. Uh, we've been here for almost three years. Uh, and we're moving back to the States. So, yes. Um, that's the main reason why I haven't been updating, uh, upkeeping my, my floss tube. Uh, too much because uh, the move is happening. Um, I am trying to pack. <laughs> Ignore that pile. This is like my pile of souvenirs. There's a box down there somewhere. It's all in a box. It's just kind of overflowing the box. <laughs> I need to get another box. Um, every time I go out and I, I buy souvenirs, I just kind of stuff it in that pile right there. <laughs> um, because I don't know if, if we will ever come back. <laughs> But just in case there's a lot of stuff I wanted to buy, things I was like mentally taking note of of what I want to buy before we move. But now that we're actually moving, uh, the movers will be here next month. So we're trying to uh, buy everything that I wanted now. <laughs> um, so yes, um, I do have a box here as you can see. There's some stuff put away. Here's my stand that used to be in the back of my videos here. Um, I already took it apart. Some of it is in that box and the rest I need to put in another box. Uh, my quantum frames have already been all taken down. Um, my quantum frames, I'll talk more about this later. I have size uh, 20, this is 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 90, and 110 centimeters. So I have eight sets. Um, I'll talk more later if you're interested in how I, I get those ready for moving. Um, what else? Where was I going? <laughs> I also have ADHD, so sometimes uh, my brain just kind of like jumps from one thing to another to another. It's called dolphining. Um, I always knew my brain did this. I just didn't realize I had a name until recently. Um, and I always knew my brain just kind of worked differently. I did not know it was ADHD until about a year ago. So, yes. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm very neurodivergent. I always knew I was. I just, I, I yeah, I don't know. Okay. Anyways, um, cross stitch. You guys are here for cross stitch. I keep getting off sidetrack because my issues. Um, <laughs> but cross stitch, you guys are here for that. Um, okay, so since my last Flossa video, I think I had finished Baby Rhino in the last one and I showed you what that looked like. Um, and then in time lapse, I've been uh, showing you the baby giraffes, which I don't think the last video has been released yet. I need to focus on cross stitch. I want to go off topic and talk about my channel, but I'll get to that in a moment. I'll come back to that. I'll circle back. Uh, but for finishes, I did finish three of the baby, um, baby safari animals. Um, I wanted to do more but I just ran out of time and I ironed it and I finished it and everything looks great and I packaged it I packaged it um, getting ready because I made them for my niece she specifically asked me to make her, her this uh, cross stitch pieces for her and I'm ready to ship it to her and I completely forgot to take pictures <laughs> of my finishes <laughs> but it's ready for me to ship to her I do need to send her a message because she, she moved recently and I don't have her new address um, so I need to mail those out soon. Baby boy was already born and those are supposed to be uh, decorations for his nursery. So I need to ship them out really, really soon. Um, so that's two finishes since my last video um, there. And then here's another finish, Kappa Kappa. This is number six of nine of the Hands-On Designs Cool Bean series. Three more to go and I'll finish with the series. Okay, and another finish. I know if you were watching my time lapse videos, you know, um, or you've probably seen my willow wear. Right now, as of Monday, <laughs> it was completed. It's completely finished. It's done. 
Uh, you will notice if you watch all the time lapse videos, I have all of them on the same playlist. So if you hit uh, play on that playlist, you'll see uh, me working on just this piece. And you'll notice that I skipped over where I'm stitching white on white because this is not white. It's like a slightly off white fabric. Um, but yes, uh, I don't record myself when I'm stitching with a thread that's the same color as the fabric I'm stitching on because it just doesn't come out that great on the video. Um, so I just moved my camera out of the way so I can stitch faster. So every like area, big area where there's a, a lot of white, or uh, there was a very, very, very light pale blue in some of this area. I didn't uh, record me stitching on that either. I kind of skipped over on the recording for that uh, just because you can't really see it. So same with the this part down here. Most of this is white. I skipped over that. So I showed the greens. I showed the orange, uh, the reds the blues but the white on white I, I just didn't record that part but yes it's all done it's finished it's done. another one completed and i can go throw it in a pile i have a huge pile <laughs> of finished pieces that i haven't ffo'd yet uh, maybe when i unpack i might uh do i don't know a, a little show and tell of all the pieces i ever worked on so um for those who haven't heard my whole backstory of cross stitch um my current stitching streak started when I was 28. I'm 39 now. So the last 11 years, I've been stitching consistently this whole decade. <laughs> uh, prior to that, um, I first learned, or I was first introduced to cross stitch when I was 13. And I kind of stitched on and off. Like I would stitch a little bit, then take a few years off um, between uh, 13 and my mid-20s. And then I completely stopped for a while until I was 28. And that's when I started stitching again. And I do have a big pile of uh, whips I finished. Um, and I have a bigger pile of whips I haven't even started yet. So, moving on. <laughs> um, that's all my finishes I have so far for the year. Um, this is number... That's three, four, five, six, seven finishes for the year so far. Uh, the numbers are not that great, I know. Um, earlier on... If you saw my last Fossil videos, you know I'll try and focus on the bigger pieces. Those pieces are big. I did not get anywhere near being finished with those. Um, and I already packed them up. They're already, they're in this box right here getting ready to move. Um, moving on to how I store my stuff for the move, uh, in case you're interested. This, Quantimes, this is how I uh, get them ready for the move. I use blue painter tape because when I uh, unpack these, and I take off the tape. It doesn't leave any sticky residue. It comes off clean. And I can just go ahead and start stitching as soon as I pull them out of the box and take the tape off. So um, I put a little tape at the end so the little rods in the center don't slide out while we're moving because that would be the worst thing ever if I lost the rods uh, while moving. <laughs> like, it would be, it's not impossible, but it would be like a nightmare to try to, to fix it. I don't know if the company would um, sell these just individually. Like, I, I wouldn't know. I don't know. I just know it would be a headache. So to prevent that, tape it is. And then I put the two rods together because these don't work unless you have the two sizes together. And I only have one set of each size. Um, so I can't lose <laughs> the set. I have to keep them together. Um, so yeah, so this is 30 centimeters. This is 40 centimeters. They're ready to go. Uh, these were the last ones I was using, so I have them right here. The rest are already been put away. Um, I do need to get a box to put them all together. Um, I haven't packed up these yet. These, I have to tape this. I usually put one strip of tape front and back just to hold this because it does kind of slip out. You don't want to lose these either. <laughs> Um, also, I think last time I bubble wrapped, I, I got like small piece of bubble wrap, I could cut them up and I bubble wrapped each one of these with painter's tape and just kind of secured it on here. And then I kept the two, uh, pairs together. So this is a 30 centimeter stretcher bars. I only have one set of this size. If you want to compare them, let me see if I can grab them all in one hand. Yep. So this 30 centimeters, 20, and 15. So I have one set in this size. It's 
Um, I have one set in this size, uh, 20 centimeters. I have three or four sets of these. And then for the 15, I have two or three sets of these. I have another set somewhere. I think it's in my uh, room, my bedroom. Um, it's already been put away because it was with another smaller frame that I already had put away like two years ago. Um, the 20 centimeter bars, I don't really use them that often, so I put them away a long time ago. Um, and I think I put one of these away with it. Uh, this size, I think I have another one. I don't know if I lost it on the way to Japan or what. Um, but I do plan on buying the new ones once I get back to the States. Um, so, yeah. Oh, and I just found out yesterday, you can't order directly from this company anymore if you're in the U.S. Um, so you have to go through, there's two sellers in the U.S., uh, Linda Yee Stitchers on her website. She is um, a partner with... Okay, is it Amonic? I think I'm murdering the name. <laughs> but yes, she sells their uh, product. She's a licensed uh, dealer or whatever. Uh, she has agreement with them. So um, you would have to go through her. Or I forgot the other company who also sells them too. But I checked the other company's website, but I didn't see any of these on there uh, when I went to look last week. But I know Linda, Lindy Stitchers. Um, I was just on her website two days ago, a day ago, whenever I found out <laughs> that they no longer ship to the U.S. Um, she does have these, uh, looks to be in stock as of two days ago. Um, so, yeah. Um, what else? Oh, these are all the boxes. This is how I'm sh um, sh packaging my whips, the bigger whips, especially if they have the thread organizers. Um, this box, I found it at Daiso. Daiso is a Japanese like dollar store, I guess. That's like the closest way I can compare it. Um, when we first got to the island three years ago, 100 yen equaled to $1. Right now, it is kind of in our favor because this was 200 yen. So two, three years ago, that would have been uh, $2. But right now, with the current exchange rate, this was $1.20. And it is perfect for the whips. Uh, some of these, I do have needles um, sticking on this. And the box is big enough where it's not putting pressure on the needles. Everything is set. Well, this current whip is not a good example because <laughs> I don't have any needles uh, poked in there right now. But um, it's not going to get crushed if it did have needles on there. Um, another thing I was concerned about was these organizers. I have one right here that's outside the box. Have these little teeth. And I'm always scared that if they're going to get crushed in the move. Having them in these boxes, I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about them getting crushed. They're a little more secure. Um, yeah. And these, they stack on top of each other. Uh, some of my Heaven Earth Designs has two of these uh, thread organizers. I can fit two side by side. They fit in the box with the fabric and any other paperwork I have for it. Uh, if you don't, if this isn't familiar, I haven't worked on this piece in almost four years. <laughs> but now it has a box and I can see what it is. I do have a label maker. So uh, once I get back to the States, I'm going to stack these. You'll probably see them somewhere in the background of my future videos. Um, but I will have the labels and the names of the, the whips right here. Uh, but I like that it's completely see-through so I can see exactly what's inside it. And yes, this one has beads and specialty threads. It's all in there ready to go. Um, okay, here's an example of two side-by-sides. These are the smaller organizers. Uh, the big blue one holds 50 colors. These small ones hold 30. So these... As you can see, I have two side by side. They're not being crushed or anything. Um, the needles are not um, being crushed. Um, I don't have to worry about damage to the, the thread organizers because I do reuse these for all my whips. Um, for the small ones, I think I can lay three of them. So one, two, three. If I need all three of them, I can do that in here as well. So love these, love these. 
I bought about a dozen <laughs> of these boxes. Um, every few days I go back to Daiso and I buy more. I did not realize how many thread organizers I have until I started putting them in these boxes. So in this box that's sitting right here, there's a whole, it's, it's covered in dust. It has a bunch of these boxes in there. So most of my whoops have already been boxed up. They're ready to go for the move. Um, <clears throat> what else do I have? Um, okay, this channel. This channel, um, as of right now, I have two videos um, that are scheduled per day to be released from now until early May. Uh, sometime in May, it will go down to one video. And throughout June and a few days in July, <laughs> I need to double check, but I think I have enough videos for one video a day until then. Um, it will take about three months for our household goods to get back to California. So by the time we unpack settle in and I get my stitchy area set up um, it's gonna be maybe four months from now at least a minimum four months so if you see that I stop uploading videos on this channel um, that's part of the reason <laughs> um, I can try to do videos on my phone and try to edit them and, and upload them that way um, so I can still have content on here but if I go like a uh, couple weeks or even a month of zero videos or whatever um, don't worry I'm still here I'm still around it's just um, you know life stuff is happening um, so I just want to let you know in case you're wondering um, what's going on with that I, I have a lot of life stuff going on I have whips that I will keep with me uh, during the travel I have one it's underneath a few boxes on the table you can't really see it. this is my dining table it's a whole mess right now with <laughs> stuff um, I have a lot of stuff. I, I need a pack. Um, <laughs> I have one whip there that I'm taking with me. Um, I brought it with me when I moved to Japan and I'm still working on it. Um, I have other whips. I'm going to put, put pictures right here so you can see all the whips I'm talking about. These are not all of the whips I'm taking with me. Um, I have more. So these are just some of the pictures that I happen to have available to, to show on me here real quick for you. So as you can see, these whips, they are small. Um, fabric size is small. Uh, number of threads that I would need is not that many. Uh, so that makes it a little bit easier for me to uh, travel. Um, everything is kitted up or, uh, well, everything you're seeing right here is kitted up. I also have kits. I don't have pictures of them on here um, to show you, but I do have all the Dolly Mama kits. I have uh, eight of them that I'll be taking with me and working on. Um, I have other smaller whips. Um, I will try my best. I'm horrible at taking pictures or remembering to take pictures. I can take pictures. I can take pictures. But I'm just uh, terrible at remembering to take pictures and to upload pictures. <laughs> to take pictures is one thing and to upload them is something totally different. I'll take pictures and I'll be like, I'll upload it later, but later never happens. Um, but I will try my best to put it on my Instagram, which is Crafting with Christy. Link will be in the description box below if you want to go check that out. Um, I'll try my best to be more active on that. But uh, <sighs> saying that I'm going to do it and actually doing it are two totally different things. Um, so, yes, I will try my best. I promise you that. Uh, but I can't guarantee anything. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> so, yes, that's, um, that is it for now. I think I got everything taken care of. Oh, my birthday. I did say I had a birthday. Yeah, last month I turned 39. Oh my God, I can't believe this is my last year in my 30s. <laughs> I'll be 40 next year. My husband's already 40. He'll be 41 in June. Um, but yeah, I, I can't believe um, 39 already. And my husband, he got me some Lego sets. <laughs> Let me scoot over a little bit. You see, <laughs> my Harry Potter Lego sets. Um, I have more up here. I have a bunch of them. Um, I have a whole other channel called Ravenclaw Collector, which is just time-lapse uh, videos of me putting my Lego sets together. Everything on there is just Harry Potter related. Um, and I do have a, a video on there. Uh, one of, well, actually, no, two videos. One, I'm in front of the camera, and I'm showing off all my Harry Potter merch. Um, 
another video is um, the Warner Warner Brothers uh, making of Harry Potter studio tour in Tokyo uh, we were there last summer um, my family we went on vacation with my mom my stepdad and we left the kids <laughs> with my mom and my husband and I we just went for the day and we just the two of us went to do the tour my husband is not a Harry Potter fan and he enjoyed uh, the tour very very much um, we quickly walked through it I wish we had more time but we had dinner reservations somewhere else in Tokyo it was at the Harry Potter cafe so <laughs> it was a day of just Harry Potter of just me and my husband loved it um, so anyways if you want to see the video of uh, that that's on Ravenclaw collector I'll put a link uh, I'll put a link just to that video in the description box if you want to go check it out um, yeah, my husband, not a Harry Potter fan, but loved it, loved it. He, he was very impressed with uh, the whole um, tour itself. Um, okay, so, in case it wasn't obvious, I am a Harry Potter fan. I am a Ravenclaw, like, um, yeah. My husband <laughs> got me a cameo for my birthday. And if I can figure out how to upload it onto this channel or on, into this video, um, I will do it. Where's my phone? There it is. <laughs> I need to upload the video, so uh, let me go ahead and insert that video here. This is for Christy. I'm Dan Fogler. This is a book by Isaac. Your birthday is um, 321. Is there chocolate on my face? I was eating pounds of chocolate. <laughs> um... Happy birthday, 39. Ooh, that's a good one. Um, spending it with the hubby and three kids at a beachside air Airbnb on the Isle of Okinawa, Japan. That's so cool. I was there. Okinawa is so cool. Tell the most dangerous man in the world that I said hi. Um, you live in Japan. Uh, konnichiwa. You guys love Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts. Awesome. Oh, you went to the Warner Brothers exhibit in Tokyo. Ooh, how is that? That sounds fun. Did they have the giggle water there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, giggle water is, uh, is special. Let me see if I have any here. Yeah, I do. I have a whole thing of giggle water right here. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Here we go. Cheers to you on your birthday. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, 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 man! Okay, so that was Jacob Kowalski, or the actor who played Jacob Kowalski in Fantastic Beasts, or Where to Find Them. Um, he's one of the my favorite characters, I guess, um, in the Wizarding World because Jacob Kowalski is a nomad or a muggle who is able to be a part of the Wizarding World. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's the only uh, mug, right, in the series? Who's able to be part of the uh, Wizarding World? Because we, we saw the squibs, but we never saw a muggle actually interacting with the wizards as much as Jake Kowalski did. So um, I just kind of envy it about him <laughs> that he was able to be a part of it. But yeah. Um, anyways, um, I can't believe my husband got me a cameo. Oh, his birthday's coming up in two months. I need to figure out something I have to do for him. I don't know. I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, my husband also got me a cake, a Ravenclaw cake. He had a, a custom made cake for me. Uh, I'll put a picture right here of what that looks like. Um, he also got me a painting. Um, I wanted a Japanese painting before we moved. Um, it has a Sokora uh, blossoms and then also has a pagoda um, and it's a, a particular type of paint I forget what it's called but it's a Japanese style where they carve uh, wood and they they use it as a stamp and they stamp layers of colors onto the paper um, it's it's actually very nice I like it it's, it's like dark with those pink cherry blossoms <laughs> does my husband know me or does he know me <laughs> <laughs> anyways um yeah that's it that's all i have for today um if you guys don't see me hear from me for the next four months uh that will be totally normal and um i think that's it for now um 
thank you so much for watching and subscribing and i'll see you guys next time in my videos in about four months <laughs> until then happy stitching bye